Why did you click on this particular thumbnail and this particular title? Well, you're probably curious. You're curious about what the video is going to tell you. You're curious about what Beyond Lucid Dreaming actually means. And maybe you're a bit curious about what kind of rant I'm going to go on in this video. Now, there's a good reason why you clicked on this video, and I'll explain it in a few minutes. But the truth is, there is a lot more you can do beyond lucid dreaming. I haven't posted in a while. There's been a reason for that, which I'll get to. Okay, But the reason that lucid dreaming is so interesting to most people, the reason you probably subscribe to this channel and actually care about lucid dreaming, you like the idea that there's something beyond just what you normally experience, something beyond what you can see, a world where you can kind of do what you want, change things, change your reality, manifest your own reality, and actually experience things in the way you want to, not just the way that. Now this video is gonna be a bit of a rabbit hole. Okay, so settle in, you know, make yourself a drink, leave a comment and say hi. I'll try and respond to everyone. So let's start at the beginning. Okay, lucid dreaming is the idea that you can control your dreams by realizing you're dreaming while you're still asleep. We know that stuff, okay? But I wanted to I want to take this channel in a slightly different direction. So what can there what is there beyond lucid dreaming? What would be the most advanced form of lucid dreaming that you can possibly experience? Now this channel has always has always been um, kind of exploring the more spiritual aspects of lucid dreaming and consciousness than most of the other channels that I've seen. A lot of other channels focus, I guess, on kind of logic, science, provable facts, and kind of really like an objective, clear-cut approach to lucid dreaming as a phenomenon in the brain. Now, that's great, okay, but I would say that there's a whole other side to this, which arguably is more important. Science can only take you so far. Logic and facts can only take you so far uh, with this stuff. At a certain point, you have to kind of just experience something for yourself and see how far down the rabbit hole you can go. And now I could give all kinds of examples of where, wh how and where that would apply. But here's where the direction I wanna take this, okay? So lucid dreaming, in a lucid dream, what you kind of expect to happen is what does happen, usually. That's kind of the rule of thumb. Okay, so if you are in a lucid dream, you realize you're dreaming and you decide that you want there to be a door that you can walk through, you expect that there'll be a door, turn around and usually the door will be there, it will kind of appear. So how does this relate to, to waking life? Well, here's the thing. This thing that we call reality, this kind of 3D perception of the world that we have is a projection of electrical signals that are interpreted by our brains. Much like in the Matrix, okay, when Morpheus says that reality is basically what we experience through our senses, right? Well, all our senses are are organs or things that can interpret and um, translate electrical signals into the brain. And then you, from that information, your brain kind of decides what that means. A good example, everything, everything is connected to this, right? So let's say if I move my finger closer to the camera, you don't actually perceive it as getting closer to you. All you perceive is the image of my finger getting bigger or smaller. And then your brain kind of does some calculation and decides that if something is getting slowly bigger, it's moving towards you. If it's slowly getting smaller, it's moving away from you. In much the same way, our brains only perceive a minuscule fraction of the information out there in terms of the uh, spectrum of light Okay, we don't, for example, we can't perceive infrared, radiation, x-rays, radio waves, TV, any of these things. And even all of those are just a tiny fraction of the spectrum of information that is out there that we know about, let alone what the, you know, the things we don't know about. So our senses are very, I don't want to say deceiving, but they are very limited in terms of what they can actually interpret and how much of this reality you actually even know about. So that being said, is it really that much of a jump to say that there could be other dimensions, other timelines, other realities? It's not really that much of a jump. When we already know, it's already a, a scientific fact that there exist many different things that we can't physically perceive with the human eye. They still, they're still there, they still exist and we can measure them, but we can't see them. In much the same way that dimensions, uh, different realities and dimensions exist, you know, but we can't see them, we can't perceive them, or at least in most cases we can't. So this 3D reality that we know of now, okay, the kind of world that we walk around and experience with our senses is a tiny, tiny, minuscule part of what's really going on and of how this thing works. Now, if you're familiar with my work about lucid dreaming, you know, uh, I focus a lot on expectation because th that what you expect to happen in a lucid dream will usually happen. In much the same way in reality, 
the thing, the subconscious beliefs you hold, the thoughts you have, you know, the emotions you feel, they affect your reality in just as much of a way as your expectations affect your lucid dream. Meaning you can control your reality to some degree, to a pretty large degree, actually. You you can decide by, and this is kind of a rabbit hole, like I don't know how, how far to go with this in, this in one video, but you can decide based on the thoughts you think, the emotions you feel, and what you kind of allow into your reality, what you focus on, you can decide what you either get more of or get less of. It's been said that your reality, like the, the life you experience on a day-to-day -day basis is a mirror of your subconscious beliefs. So to that degree, you can change your reality by changing your beliefs. And that's what I really want to get into is the idea of going beyond lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is kind of like a, an echo a shadow of what you can do in your waking life with the same principles the same principles of what you focus on you get more of your beliefs dictate your reality and now more than ever we need to be shaping our own realities deciding that we are not going to be fearful be negative be you know critical and pessimistic because that's a choice you can make you can literally decide instantly right now to stop being fearful for whatever, and I have to be kind of careful with what I say because the insane draconian censorship that is going on all around the world on almost every platform, uh, the truth and, you know, the real um, information that's getting out is being massively censored by everything, every platform, uh, to the point where you have to kind of be very careful about the way you say things and the way that you phrase things because otherwise the algorithms, you know, the the technocracy will literally just censor you. So I have to be careful about how I say this, but you you don't have to be fearful. There's no reason to be afraid of anything, really. In this reality is literally just an echo of our subconscious beliefs and of our true nature. So, so in exactly the same way that you would shape a lucid dream, you can shape your own reality in this life the same way. What you focus on, as in what you, every day, what you think about, observe, act upon and believe you will get more of it will it will become amplified so to speak so so ask yourself what do you want to have more of if you're waking up every day and you're looking at social media and the <laughs> the um provably inaccurate mainstream media narratives that's all i'll say about that if you're consuming that every day and focusing on it you will get more of that okay through various different processes you will experience more of what you focus on so imagine if instead you could actually just wake up and focus on all of the positive things that are going on in the world right now people waking up on a mass scale there are many different things to focus on that could become your reality abundance financial abundance now you might be thinking oh well this is a, a recession again it's it depends on what you focus on it depends on what you focus on this is actually one of the best times to be, for example, starting a business, you know, creating your own financial freedom and wealth. This is a really good time to do that. And it's never been easier because you have the internet, you have all of these tools at your disposal. You could start a business in the next 10 minutes. And, you know, the, the, the opportunities have never been this large. That being said, there's at the same time, the media have never been pushing as hard to drive fear into the population. And you can see this by any headline, any headline now in the media is just going to be focused on fear, getting you to stay, you know, small, afraid and not taking action, being dependent on other things like the government systems and all, that, all of that, instead of stepping into your own power and deciding to change your reality. And I'm not joking when I say this, you can decide to change all of that for yourself. You can decide that anytime you want. So like I said, imagine if instead of all of that, you know, fearful propaganda, if you just turned all of that off, what would you experience? Like, what would your actual reality be? It will be so different. It will be vastly different to what you're probably experiencing now if you're like most people who are, well, I don't want to say most people actually, because it's not most people. It's probably about half and half. You have half of the world moving into a new phase in their evolution advancing ascending and becoming you know the best they, that they can be stepping into their power waking up realizing that we've always been in control of our reality and then you have the other half who are kind of still for some reason very fearful 
you know, they're following these provably inaccurate and um, manipulative pieces of propaganda because that's really what they are, and just kind of going along with what every with what they think the majority thinks, uh, you know, without really thinking for themselves and deciding what they want to become their reality. What do you want to focus on? Because it really is about what you want to focus on, you know. And there are some people like, um, if you, for example, if you think, okay, that hugging your friends, going out in the sunshine, you know, experiencing nature, boosting your immune system naturally, you know, supplementing vitamins, taking vitamins, drinking water. If you think that, you know, go, doing those things is bad for you, we're going to have to move on without you, okay? Because there's no convincing people like that but you can decide what to focus on. So here's my challenge to you. Decide right now what reality you actually want to have in your life, and then just think of it like a game, or think of it like an experiment, like a game, okay? For the next 30 days, only focus on and only consume, as it, and when I say consume, I mean only watch, read, listen to, or otherwise put, give your attention to things that you want to be your reality. Like, um, a good example is, is if you just turn off the media, turn off the news. Okay, that's probably the, the easiest th fix you can do. And then instead, supplement it with focusing on positive messages, inspiring things, motivating ideas and concepts and channels. Focus on those things just for 30 days. Okay, and for those same 30 days, take a few vitamins, take a multivitamin, you know, go, out, go outside in nature, go in the sun, walk around outside, go to the beach, uh, do all of those things that have been known for generations to improve your health. Without the mainstream media, there would be no widespread viral situation. Wouldn't exist. Anyway, that's going to be a very polarizing thing to say. Uh, but you've got to ask yourself, like, if you didn't watch the media, what would happen? You know, it'd be a vastly different situation. So consider what you actually want to be your reality. Focus on the positive things and uh, on how amazing this opportunity is right now to not only see humanity awakening and realizing uh, how powerful they are, but also this is your chance. Like you can change anything about your reality right now. If you want to start a business, great time to do it. If you want to, you know, go inwards, focus on your health, your personal growth, this is such an incredible time to do that. Everything is at your fingertips. You have the internet, if you're watching this video, uh, you can decide what information you want to p consume and put into your subconscious mind. Um, so when I say beyond lucid dreaming, I mean that for me is the most incredible thing you can do with this amazing mind that we've been given. So hopefully this makes some kind of sense, uh, but either way, I'd love to hear what you think. So leave a comment and uh, I'll chat to you in the comment section.